45 alpha, take one. What if we make a list of all of our favorite bands and go to as many festivals as possible? Can someone get a photo with me with like a mad mullet? And action! I am really honored to be part of it. Just get back up there. We can all just support each other for the next couple of weeks and just make a movie that we're all super proud of in the end. Is it about the destination or is it the journey? We'll soon find out. My name is Macario D'Souza. I'm a filmmaker and a musician. And the winner is... Fighting Fear, Macario D'Souza. Kid Mad! <laughs> I was born in South Sydney, in a suburb called Maroubra. We grew up in a place that was a melting pot of cultures from all over the world and so many colourful characters and stories. Everything we were about was family and friends. There was a lot of influence with music as well. It sort of tied our whole community together. Being a musician myself, touring for years, and my background of documentaries. Bra boys, man, they live in an urban society. I felt like I was in a bit of a unique position to tap into something that I felt we didn't see enough of on the big screen. I wanted to tell a real, raw, authentic story that encapsulated those two worlds of coming of age and the euphoria of music. Six Festivals was something I started chipping away at in 2017. It's a film about three best friends bucket listing as many music festivals that they can go to while they run out of time through an illness of one of their own. Shooting it at a backdrop of a real festival is something that I had never seen before and it's something that I wanted to create with this film. Yeah, man, I just wanted to pick your brain and just um, see what's, what's possible and if, if there's any interest still from your end. Getting the film off the ground and funded was something that I knew was very competitive. Michael Wren was a producer who got involved at an early stage and stuck by me and guided and mentored me. When Mac first approached me about six festivals, I thought he was mad. He had some really clear ideas about what he wanted to do and how he wanted to make it. The issue became when, how, and with whose money. There was a point where the funding agencies were like, I don't see how you can make this film. But when we came in with the structure of how we could make the film, they were really quick to get behind us and, and give us that support. It was the back end of 2019 and we had prepared for our first shoot, which was a music festival over the New Year's period. And a few days out, unfortunately, they had to cancel. We are in the midst of a bushfire crisis tonight, the likes of which this state has never seen. It was devastating, but there was, you know, a lot of people worse off and I didn't realise this may be the, f the first of many hurdles that we were going to encounter. Life is changing in Australia as it is changing all around the world. Life is going to continue to change as we deal with the global coronavirus. It's all gone a little bit scary out there. The film bond company, the insurance, have all come back and said that they view production at this particular time as high risk and they're not going to cover the costs. There's just desperation and giving up, but you know, I don't think there's a chance of that. Not with Mac. He seems to be always ready for the next hurdle. I'm not the first and I certainly won't be the last filmmaker who has struggled to get a film up and see it through. Luckily for me, you know, I had an incredibly supportive wife. So between us, we made a plan to find solutions where we could to keep the dream alive, but find that happy medium where we weren't going to ruin the family. The biggest challenge was getting there. Once we were there, we were in fine hands and that Max vision and his ability to deliver on it were going to see us through. After three years of development and two years of lockdowns, things were finally opening back up. Our music festivals, artists and crew were all locked in and it was finally go time. And at the centre of it all was our talented young cast. 